ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the day where we review World of Warcraft SOD Reddit. First one, customer support said my permanent ban was applied according to rules. Thing is, I was never banned. Inspired by another post, I was curious if customer support even checks ban appeals, so I created one. My account was never banned, and I have created this ticket being in-game on my character. Here's how it went. Um, appeal penalty. Hello, my account X was permanently banned because apparently my mage blank abused chat. It says account closed permanently. I didn't do anything. What's going on? There was no reports. Please Good respond. Evening. Please respond ASAP. Good evening, Dublin. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate it. This ticket has been marked as answered. This action has been taken in accordance with our team and our in-game policies, which all players acknowledged and agreed prior to playing. These, these policies and conditions allow to maintain fun and safe environment. Wait, so this is just automated answer? Yes, but I didn't do anything, literally anything. Can someone review it again? Did somebody actually see the report I got and I got and got any evidence? The CK was resolved. This action has been taken across. Dude, this was the same thing I got when I appealed my old account. So they never looked at it? These fucking assholes. I wrote like an essay for them too. So not only was my appeal denied, it was denied for a reason. Breaking terms of use and Blizzard in-game policies. The fact that I wasn't banned didn't help me. So if you ever been banned because you got mass report by boss, don't get your hopes up. Huh. Is this actually real? No way, man. Try not to get in trouble. If you get banned, you're done, Ski, I guess. Times sure have changed. My Sims said warriors were going to be top damage. <laughs> sure they did, Grandma. Let's get you to tanks. <laughs> Is warrior doing that bad still? Check out the name tag. You're in my purse now, Grandma. Let's check. So it's Frost Mage, Ranged Hunter, uh, Giga Chat, Red Paladins, Feral Druid, and then Warrior. Damn, they are not doing that hot. I think this next week we'll see a little bit of change on the chart. And depending on like who gets weapons, I think weapon is a big factor. Like gear. Some of the classes are very gear dependent. I think uh, Warriors especially. Maybe getting nerfed. Didn't they just nerf um, No More Gone Boss's armors a little bit? Or did I miss see that? They did? Okay. So yeah, this upcoming Tuesday, it might change a little bit. Alright, I finally did it. I lied my way into No More Gone Group. They wanted 6 out of 6 EXP, so I lied and told them I cleared on my main. This was my main. Now I finally have logs of me and No More Gone. I can get into Goose to the No More <laughs> Fake it until you make it. Oh my god. I did this first 10 years of my career, now I know so much and became lazy. Damn. There it is, chat. Fake it till you make it. The necessary meme of SCV event. PvP players. I do not like PvE, but if the best gear is from PvE, I will raid and get it like I did for the last 20 years. True and real. Very true, I can relate. Me and my brothers raided just to get PvE gear to PvP. Things have changed though. PV players. Oh my god, it is unacceptable. How can you expect me to PvP for one this item? <laughs> I don't disagree with the sentiment, but I've been watching PV players whining about having to PvE for 20 years. Definitely not exclusive to PV player. Uh, yeah, that's true too. There was a lot of PV players saying I don't want to PV. I think I was one of them in like Legion or Shadowland. I forgot which one. Yeah, I just wanted to PvP and every time I had to raid to get trinkets, actually it was BFA, there was some busted trinkets. Uh, me trying to determine if all posts about getting falsely banned for GDKP are legit or if they are made by gold sellers trying to get GDKP unbanned. Hmm. Uh, I don't know man, I don't think you should risk it. Try to go to Gildy, fresh 40, needing a mount, as well as trading reasonable sums between two accounts and still not been banned. Maybe I'm lucky, maybe others are unlucky. 
maybe they are up naughty shenanigans no i think it's what i said i, I think trading between like legitimate players i would like to believe they have like logs on each character if this is like a character portrait face like this is savix and this is uh kaiser i think they like look at how much you've played and how much like gold you farmed and if it's like let's say this guy is mala and this guy's a chinese botter right and he has been making a lot of gold and he's been sending out to a lot of people a lot of people okay like people are buying gold left and right and he's just like <laughs> like sending out that many times like 100g 200g 300g 100g then i think that he's gonna get flagged and they'll say hey check out that malachi bad boy he's been sending a lot of gold all right let's see where he made all his money okay sm run sm run sm run all right this guy's a little cheeto get him out of here boom you know what i mean because i've traded a lot of gold too when uh, alice was trying to duplicate money with the auction house stuff crafting all these items anyways uh yeah i don't think we get in trouble for trading amongst like legitimate player i think it has to be somebody that's been sending out multiple gold i don't know maybe there's a way to like launder money and some some guys are getting away with it it just works blizz when they realize group and raid should be layer into the same layer especially in pvp man stv when you get into the wrong layer and you've been grouped for like 30 minutes it's very lame they made this change in ashenville i believe and it's been an ongoing issue they are trying to fix it i think they're very aware of it on twitter and i posted something about trying to make it work someone wanted to enchant my weapon the other day and we didn't manage to get in the same layer for the longest time in the end i restarted the game while we were in group which made me join his lair yeah i heard um if you log out and press back button and press reconnect it has a better chance to that's what bean's been telling me i don't know if it worked for me though dev please don't make future raid easier I've seen many posts where people complain about the difficulty of No More Gone and their inability to clear raid and pug. If you are unable to clear the raid, the problem is not the difficulty of the raid or the optimality of your class. Acquire better gear, form a better group, and gather people who know the tactic. You should also familiarize yourself with the tactic. If we start making raid easy, there will be no challenge for half the community and introducing mythic mechanic to classic SOD wouldn't make much sense. If you are unable to clear the raid after multiple attempts and trying different compositions, you just have to keep trying. If you truly want to conquer the raid, you will eventually find a way as thousands of players have done it. I wish you good luck. Man, this guy probably goes to bed and tells his wife, Yo, I just cleared the raid, babe. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Trying to heal an 8 minute fight is something I like every DPS main to experience at some point of this phase. The thing is, I already went over this. I was one of them trying to make uh, SOD raids harder and harder, saying I think they should make it harder, they should make it harder, and then I got that comment from a boomer saying if you want it hard go fucking play retail don't make my game hard and it makes sense it makes sense classic wow i don't want them to make it super easy it should have a difficulty for sure so that groups can coordinate and work on things i think normal gone they did pretty good right um who's that electrocutioner guy i think if that's like the first mech check and then the last boss you need like pots Good coordination, good healers, etc. Button pressers. I think that's fine. This version felt a little harder than uh, BFD for sure. SOD layers were reduced, and now all the bots are visible. Currently on Lone Wolf Alliance, the bot epidemic has become extremely more noticeable. The street of Stormin is completely littered with the bots running back and forth in three patterns to my enchanting trainer. My friend and I have been reporting them for the past 35 minutes and even quickly made a video. Okay, let's check it out. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, if you don't know, Blizzard apparently uh, really fast 
lowered all of the layers uh, down a little bit. I believe down to two at this moment of the time of uh, 5.38 in the morning. Can I check too? On February 24th. Uh, real quick though, um, I have other videos. I know it's been a while. I have other videos in the works right now, uh, but this just happened and I really wanted to make this to showcase the current uh, problem that's going on. I, I'm working on the mic. Oh, the mic no, 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 no. But real quick, uh, as you can see, um, we currently have an epidemic of botting. And I want to Yo. basically... How can I do this? Pause this for Yo. a second. Right? I really put it at like 1% speed. But um, take a quick screenshot of uh of this as you can see right like right here there are a bunch of bots that come in and out of storm damn that's pretty easy to detect yeah it's all mages too oh no 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 skynet is real oh no 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 Dude, look at his name! He's not even trying! His name is N- He's just like, typing random letters, man! Um... Wonder how SOD Phase 2 is going on in Classic Subreddit. Classic Mod Subreddit. The bands are fake. The bands are real. <laughs> I think... It's real, but not enough. What do you guys think, chat? When you're not meta class, Rhett looking for group, no more nose fight, consumes and will buff paying 10g. Rogue looking for group, no more, have world buff 6 out of 6 EXP, consumables paying 20g. Oh my goodness, yo, that's kind of sad, dude. Yo, Blizzard, you gotta buff these guys or something. They're paying gold to join because their class is so shit. I'm so happy they reverted the martyrdom nerf. Oh my god. 40 player raid will likely stay 40 player. Interview with Josh Greenfield. What we're trying to do is not take anything away from anyone. Those raids were 40 player, will likely stay 40 player. Now, will they look exactly the same? Hard to say, and that's not something we're ready to talk about right now. There are some things you can expect to stay the same, and there are some things that will change a lot. There will be some form of 40 player raiding at some point. Okay. 40 man raids, ah, dude, I'm not a fan of it, chat. I know it's classic WoW, but 40 man raid, I'm not a big fan of. I think 20, 25 is like sweet spot. 40 is too many. You're not going to do any mech, filling that group up or filling absent people. What do you think about 10 man raid that has better gear than 40 man raids? Um... I don't think they should go too ham on the gear, yet on BFD, they went too ham, so they have to keep on par. So a normal god is a little bit stronger. I wanted to almost say, maybe just increase the stat by like a few numbers. Yet, I don't think they can do that. I think SOD gear is just going to get better and better, because right now we're hitting the same numbers as level 60s. I was watching Unbreakable, fully rank 14 PvP biz with Sophurus and... Shamans right now are hitting the similar number, which is insane, right? It's pretty insane. Do you guys like 40 man rating? Or do you prefer like 20 man or you know 15 man? What do you like? Type type the number 20 or 40. Which would you prefer in the future? 20 man raid or 40 man raid? Here's my take, ready? I think 40 man is cool. And in the aspect of MMO, standing next to a lot of players that play the similar game and you guys all look badass in a big group. The concept is cool. Yet, as a 40 man, you barely do mechanics. I think it's very difficult to organize as well if you're a guild leader or the group leader. And if somebody's absent, you gotta fill and whatnot. Also, distributing loot amongst 40 people. Holy moly. When I was trying to get my best install on my rogue, that took forever, man! 
I had to roll against like 10 other rogues. Oh, Pepper. Like I said, the concept's cool. I think it's too much though. Like having, I like the 10 man raise right now because I feel like we do more mechanics that way. It's not too much because it's classic WoW. You get my point though, right? Peo, do you prefer 20 man raid in the future or 40 man? This is an OG chat. Nobody could tell that this guy doesn't play classic WoW. Peo, give us your answer. I think 20 would be fun, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there it is, chat. <laughs> People who like 40-man raiding have never been in the position of leading slash being in charge of loot of 40-man raids. Dude. I mean, maybe there is some 40... Maybe there is a guild leader that likes 40, yet uh, they would have to understand that if you as a leader are doing loot council and you're not distributing the loot fairly, you're going to have a lot of angry people in that group. And that's 40 people. At least 20 of them is going to be upset and salty. I did with 25, never again. Yeah, I did a few in TBC too. It was stressful. I was tech support every day. Step by step, how to get banned in SOD. Number one, create two World of Warcraft accounts. Level both to max level in 40 to 80 hours of gameplay. This was four days ago. On one account, roll number, number with your guild and full clear, no wipe. Win rolls, one to three pieces of loot. Number five, now from your other account that you do all the crafting and money making profit, send the first account a large sum of the gold, in that case, 400 G. If you've done this correctly, in the morning, one of these two accounts should be banned completely. The GM name should contain no less than 12 consonants in it. And every time you try to appeal, you should see the same auto-generated message. Enjoy your time off World of Warcraft. Two weeks ago in every gold screaming on Reddit, everybody has a burner account. Oh, everybody has a burner account to buy gold with so they don't get banned on main? And now I see 10 thread of people complaining their second account with gold got banned a little. Not sure if suspicious corny reasons, second account or innocent people getting banned because of the burner. I think it's like what I said earlier with the drawing of the painting. If you are sending out a lot of gold, I think that's how it works. I'm not 100%. Playing SOD is like walking on eggshells. Killing bots, you're banned. Trading gold to a friend? Banned. Selling stockade boost? Banned. Trying to appeal? Banned? Banned. <laughs> How can you make this meme without adding, believe it or not, banned at the end? Crying on Reddit, believe it or not, also banned. Future raid and SOD 40 man quandary. Sheesh. All right, here we go. Following the recent interview with Agrin has started, likely goal of SOD is for 40 man content to remain 40 man content. I think it's necessary to recognize the enormous elephant in the room. We are built entirely around 10 man raids, whether it is scattered, small, cozy guild of friend who play. I like this a lot, by the way, like cozy, small group of friend, 10 man is easy to put up in the community. Uh, actually interact with a more popular medium-sized raid, 2-3, to 10 man teams, where people fill in with alts, come in on the off days, etc. Their entire build up of sod so far is based around 10s, pulling the band-aid off 60 and suddenly saying, okay, now go find 30 other people li you like, agree with. And the same schedule from what you've been doing for 9 months is near Herculean social tasks that's based off recent major threats a large amount of player are simply not interested in. If the goal is to move to 40 man content, please begin doing so gradually. Please let phase 3, yeah I think so too. I think phase, if they want to go with this approach, phase 3 should be 20 man. I almost thought that Nomogon was going to be 20 man. Surprise it was 10. I like it though. Uh, so we can prepare over time. Guild raid team etc. need time, actually prepare and plan for this affirmative desire. 
I'll be clear, I don't want 40 man raid. I would vastly prefer if we only grow to 20 and never step beyond it outside the world boss or any major PvP events, etc. However, I, a team of raiders, I need to think about, and I refuse to lead another 40 man team. Back in Original Classic, I ran an enormous guild, five group of 40 man teams to ensure as many people completed next as possible. Oh my god, that's a lot. And it was successful, but the toll it took something. I won't have. It's literally. Being a guild leader and running five group, dude, that is a full time job, by the way. Unless you're half assing, it's a full time job. You gotta live inside well. 40 man raid for my raid team means we either quit or my current guild dies because we join someone else. If anyone out there is listening, even if you disagree, I think this feedback is something the SOD team has shown they're receptive to. Yeah, they've been listening very well. I'd like to give a shout out to them. SOD team has been listening in the shadows. Uh, my personal stance here is not one I believe is true for everyone. It's what's true for me and my team, but I, it's going to be impactful enough that it's something maybe Blizzard isn't entirely thinking about. Based upon how many people we're just saying they're going to quit yesterday. My bet is there will be 10 men at 60 with pretty darn good gear. Uh, what they're really saying is don't want development resources or to tool MC BWAQ for 10 men. You can pug MC. Okay, this is interesting. I like that. I'll make it a 700 for that. If a whole server came through, could Ka Damu be killed? I wanted to make an announcement. Like gather all the horde and the alliance raids, pick a date, and we make groups of like 20s. Just keep going in one by one so he doesn't wipe all of us at the same time. And eventually, like we have a 20 second rest timer, right? If, if we line it up, can we kill it? I'm wondering. He heals way too much. Oh, is it way too strong? Nah, Lairs would win. True. Lairs would... The real boss would be Larry. <laughs> True and real. Petition to get this bad boy in SOD. I'd like that. Pretty much title, Blizzard implementing training dummies will only allow experimentations with runes slash builds. Also might bring people together into city sharing idea challenging each other's build. Yeah, I would like that. That'd be cool. They need to add a dueling area too. A dueling area that resets your cooldown, but once you leave, all your cooldowns go in cooldown so people can't abuse it with summons. Solid phase 2 feels lackluster compared to phase 1, I really don't know. In phase one, I had a lot of fun. Gank some in Duskwood, got counter ganked, managed to finally sneak away, and then jumped into Warsong and blast some people. Pop BFD Pug, went for a fishing trip in Tanaris, did some flipping in Auction House, leveled an alt, helped the friends out in WC, SFK, kiting, rare spawns. In phase two, I leveled up 40. While decked out in BFD gear, I had nothing to get in RFD or Odeman, so skipped those, endured some STB altar, farmed weapon, cleared Nomagon. That's it, kinda. I mean, you have a Rathi Basin to grind, right? He did some war song. He got some Rathi Basin. I logged in, now trying to find something to do. Dungeons, nope, nothing to gain from that. War song feels rather boring right now. And so does AB. STV is just min maxing blood. I already have my weapon from there. Nomogon has reset, but I can't be arsed doing it. I can definitely tell um, there was a lot more rune to farm in phase one. And it was the first e exploration in SOD, so we kind of know what's up. I think phase two was fun. I did mention this to like Guzu and Peyo, saying phase two didn't feel good as phase one. That being said, in terms of PvP, I've been having more fun because we're level 40 and we have a bit more ability and our 40 talent. So in that scene, it's been fun for me. And I know if you get your weapon, you're kind of done here. But they did add uh, Arati Basin wood you can get or mounts you can farm. So you can still do the event and get something out of it, which is nice. If they only had weapon, people wouldn't do it, right? Adding mount was a fantastic idea to recycle that area. Very nice. Uh, what do you guys think, chat? Do you guys like phase one better or phase two? 